about to blow. Greetings. I am the Chief Justice, or Udex Novilet. Hey, what's up everybody? I am back. Duvale came out and I also just recently got him. So I'm doing a guide on how you can make him one of the best characters. One of the best Hydro DPSs in the game. He, he's a... Uh, I, I don't know what, what they did with him, but they really did step up with the Hydro DPSs. But first off, let's get into the details on what I recommend you go ahead and focus on. First up, the most important stat that I definitely do recommend you go ahead and focus. It's going to be HP and it's not even close. 30k minimum HP. HP, please, for my own sanity. Other stats, also energy recharge, and of course, grenade and crit damage. Oh, how lovely. Next up, his weapons. I am using Lost Prayer as I am a broke bitch and I don't have the battle pass weapon, so hey man. It does the job! <laughs> but some other weapons of note are going to be the Tome of Eternal Flow, his best in slot. For your four star, it's going to be Sacrificial Jade in the Battle Pass. So if you are going to be picking up the Battle Pass, go ahead and pick it up. And for the free to plays, Prototype Amber. I do feel so sorry for you guys. Next up is his artifacts. Now, out of any set, go ahead and get Mar Mara. Mara Cheese. Mar Mara Chazi? I don't even know anymore. Mara Cheese. You know what? I'm going to call it Mara Cheese. Mara Cheese Hunter. Get a four piece of this as it's going to help you with the crit rate as every time you use a charge attack, you are always going to be losing HP. So it works in tandem. You get a 12% crit rate buff for literally doing nothing. Three stacks, by the way. Three stacks. Anyways, your main stats are going to be including for your sands, HP percentage, goblet, hydro damage bonus, or if you feel like a little naughty boy, you can do HP percentage for your goblet too. And for your circlet, crit rate or crit damage. From my understanding, his best constellations are going to be C2. You get a crit damage buff for literally existing. Wow. He really does need this, by the way. Is C1. This whole text doesn't matter. Just only focus on this bottom one where you do not get interrupted when you charge attack. And then finally, his C6. His C6 is... Um, it changes his character to a, a godly level. Oh my god, the damage you could do. <laughs> now talents. The talents you're going to be focusing on is going to be normal attack, then your skill. His first passive talent. Whenever he triggers any kind of reaction, be it, well, the things listed there, I'm not going to say it. He will deal Dang. more damage just, just for charge attacking. Wow, man, why? His second passive talent. The more HP you have, the more hydro damage bonus you get. So think of Hu Tao's and think Think of like literally any character that skills off HP. They need some new ideas, please. And his final passive talent. He swims faster. Underwater sprint speed. Underwater sprint this. And finally, let's get on to his team codes. All right, first up is Nouvelle's Hyper Bloom team. And I got flack for doing a child team with this one. Hey, it, it still works with this one. It, Raiden's for the battery, Nahida's for the dendro application, and also the EM bonus that you do get just for existing. And Baijo's there to heal, and the amount of orbs that he can create is crazy too. This team is getting a 10 out of 10. I like this team a lot, and I did 36 star abyss with this team. Very, very good. This is Nouvelle's Vaporize team. I like this team a lot. This team is pretty good. And major thanks to Zaja for finding this out, as you know. I'm, I'm scrolling on Twitter and I did see this. Uh, yoinking, like, I just yoinked it. <laughs> Johnny's here for Pyro application. Nahida's here for Dendro application. And also the burning effect that does happen with Pyro's applied to Dendro. And Raiden's here just for basically battering the whole team. If you don't want to use Raiden and you do believe in Jonling getting her ult back for every rotation, then you can, of course, go ahead and use Kuki. This team is getting a 9 out of 10. I really like this team. This is Nuvelay's Freeze team. Now, I'm gonna be real, this this team is made for shit and giggles. I, I I don't really use this team that much, but hey, it's fun to use. Rosario is here just for cry application and also being able to battery Diona. And Venti's here for swirl. And Diona's here just for healing and also being able to battery Rosaria if she doesn't have her ult. This team is getting an 8 out of 10. And last up, we have the fireworks team or the electro charge team. You can replace Beto with a Raiden or you can replace Pisho with a Raiden. Either one, you're good. You can also replace Venti with Kazuo if you feel like it. That's your choice. Not, not, not complaining, but hey, that's you. This was here for just sub DPS damage. She does a lot of good damage. Betsy's here just to completely and utterly make fun of the game. Anyways, this team is getting a 9 out of 10. I actually like this team a lot. This team is like, pretty good. Pretty good team. Anyways, that's been my new guide. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.